All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Sorry for the late upload. I literally just fell asleep for three hours and 45 minutes. Jumping right into today's video, kicking off from where we left off yesterday. Um, just going to install the three-way switches here, and I think I might make two other videos, one for troubleshooting three-way switches, um, and then a second one for, I already forgot, um, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to try to keep this simple um, and show you how this all works without diving into too many ex too many different um, things in this video. Just trying to keep it the same um, in short. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my wire from yesterday. And I did um, what I did do was over here. I did add a pigtail onto the single wire onto this power wire right here, just so I have a solid wire to go off of to work with. Um, so that's the only difference that I did from yesterday, just to save a few um, seconds of time. I added this black wire here to the black power wire coming out of this um, wire right there. So anyways, just going to strip these out real quick and uh, get going on that. I just have some really basic switches here, so they're gonna need to be curled. Um, they don't have any plates or anything like that, so that's unfortunate. So I'm just going to um, strip these and curl them um, with my brand new Klein strippers. So these have been working pretty well. I haven't used them too much, but um, I do love the way that they look. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and curl these, like I said. A little basic curl going on here. Nothing special and do remember not to get your black wires confused So keep your two travelers together and then this is my uh, Common wire, which I'll explain here in a second um, And then same thing over here You can either leave that silk curled around or if you take it off then you can set it um, a different direction than the other wires. So this is kind of messed up because of that power situation. This is really deep. Hopefully I have the screws for the switches. I think they should be in the switch still. Anyways, I need to stop falling asleep. So, well, I'm trying to accidentally take a nap during the day. It's messing up my everything. I haven't even eaten, like, I don't even think I've had lunch yet. It's like seven o'clock. Um, anyways, moving on. So I got your three-way switch here. Ground goes to green as always. I'm just gonna lightly use the drill. And then from there, I always like to do my common wire next. And that is gonna be on the black screw right here. As you can see, there's two gold screws and a black screw. The black screw is the common, which is either gonna be your switch leg going up to your light right here, or the um, power wire, which is gonna be that one right there. Um, so make wanna make sure to keep your travelers together and those two travelers go on the gold screws. So don't not put your switch leg or your power wire on one of the traveler gold screws, because that's gonna make you some serious problems. And then you're gonna have to troubleshoot that later, which is probably gonna be in the next video, how to troubleshoot this. So black goes to black. And then the other black wire, I usually like to put the other black traveler on the other side, just so I'm not confusing them. Um, even though, like I said, I like to do the common first, but just to keep things simpler, I like to put the black on the other side. That's just my personal style. Um, but you, you feel free to put the, both blacks on the same side if you wish. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this red next. Oh yeah, so the second video that I want to do is an explanation video of how three-way works. Um, and then the troubleshooting as well. So maybe I should probably explain how it works first and then do a separate video of troubleshooting. So let me know. Um, unless you want both of those in one video, let me know. Um, in the comment section below. Um, and then next, 
we got the second three-way switch. So this isn't gonna work if you have one three-way switch and a single pull switch. You have to have three-way switch for the two boxes between the three wire. I think I messed this one up a little bit. The curl. the curl up on that one so when I tightened it it was kicking the screw it was coming off of the screw okay so now I have the ground I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, other common on the other black screw so this is my power wire and then same thing black traveler on the other side of the switch And then red traveler on the other gold screw on the common side. And that's going to be it. So as long as you shove these wires back into the switch box and make sure your ground doesn't touch any of these hot screws, you're going to be good to go. So I'm just going to lightly put this in there all the way. And then I'm going to plug it in and test it for you guys so you can see how it works. Just give that a visual inspection that it's not touching anything, so that's good to go. Put that wire down. This one right here. Oh, see that one's missing the screw. Here it is. Maybe, I think this one's screw is from a different switch, but now it's gonna work for this one. Okay, so that is, it should be ready to go. If it's not, then it's gonna blow up. Anyways, I'm gonna plug this in real quick to the extension cord and give it a go. Um, so how do you know that this works? I'm gonna explain that to you. So I got the power or the power to the switch right here and the actual power um, to the wall. So if I plug this in and it blows up, then you know that I did it wrong. Hey, look at that. Okay. So I've never done this before, never tested this. So here is my light switch. Here's my light switches and my light. So how this works is uh, one switch goes off, the other switch goes on, and then the other switch can go back on. So that's how you know if you did it right. If it's wrong, then it's either going to work on one side and not turn back. So how you know if it's wrong is if you turn the light on, turn it off, and then you can't turn it back on on this side. Um, so I can explain that scenario in another video, but for now I just tied this light through right here, just tied these wires together so it's um, it's going up to here, so I didn't put a second light in right yet, right yet because I didn't want to pigtail that out. Um, but anyways, it's pretty sweet. Got the got everything working. Um, I think that was gonna be it. Um, yeah, so that's how three-way switch works. Get, can turn it on from one location, turn it off from another location, and turn it back on from the first location. So, anyways, pretty exciting stuff. And I want to go over like a whiteboard video of this, maybe of how how this is working exactly. Basically, um, just really quickly, um, you got power, like I said, on the common screw, and then only one of these traveler wires is working at a time. So right now it would either be sending on all the black over here and then up the switch leg. And then when I flip the switch here, it disconnects it from the black. And then when I flip the switch, it sends it back on the red wire. So only one traveler wire is being used at a time. That was really confusing to me when I started out um, as, an, as an apprentice um, until I understood it. So I want to go over like a whiteboard video of this to explain um, in detail how that works with the switch positions and stuff like that connected from the hot and disconnecting from the hot. So anyways, 
Hopefully this video helped you on your endeavors. How is this already a 10 minute video? That's insane. I was expecting like five. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you out on the three-way switches. And this was exciting to be able to turn this on for the first time and plug something in that I, t that I hooked up. So anyways, like I said, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Help the channel out. And I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. About six subscribers away from 9,000 at the moment. So love to see that number. If you want to help out today, click that subscribe button. And then check out my Amazon store down below in the, the description. I just finished that. And I'm going to organize it more, but for now, I just have my hand tools and my extra tools um, unorganized, but all listed out um, as, best it, as best as everything I could find on Amazon. So check that out if you want to buy any of the tools that I use. Um, and then, um, yeah, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. And check the description for anything else other than that. So thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. Have an awesome rest of the day. Peace out.